Hey guys, Brad here from Desert Oak. Today I just want to give you a quick look around the outside of the Vista and then we'll set it up and then go on in and have a look in there as well. Alrighty, we'll swing around and have a look. So, up the front here we have a couple of hatches. This one here is where the um, all the awnings, the um, all the ropes and poles and all that sort of stuff is kept up in there. Great little hidey hole. You'll see up in here, that's where the spare wheel's mounted. And also you can see gas bottle one and gas bottle two there. Now as we swing down, just there is the um, jerry can for the diesel hot water, uh, the, the diesel heater in it. There's also a little tab on top there um, a little wing nut there you gotta undo for use of the uh, diesel heater. Now I'm just opening up the front here as well, because in here is where we have another great big storage hole, which is fantastic for um, any of your smelly things like generator or chainsaw or porta potty or anything like that. Fantastic spot for all that. These these are side wings there's just a little oh, hang on, clip down on here you push that in with your thumb and then that over over center latch opens up then and then they just swing open like that now this side's also great for um putting extra fuel on board as well next we'll come round. we have this side locker which is where the kitchen is then stored so we can slide that out and then you see there kitchen now you'll notice here I've got a bit of a cut up drink bottle fantastic to put underneath the end of your tap so it doesn't drip into the uh, inside of the van when traveling now big storage drawer there which is underneath the sink there you can turn that there, which locks the sink in place, so it doesn't go in and out then too. There's also a wind deflector for when you're cooking. So you just open that up, and then that just slips straight over there like that to be able to use your kitchen. Now this is the reverse kitchen. Our previous van had it mounted here in this corner. Um, yeah, people uh, have personal preferences there. I'm not sold on either way more than another. Both are great for different advantages. I really like this way for the prep area, um, especially if you use a fire um, more often than cooking on your hot plates. Um, it does mean though, if you wanna use it, you either gotta go around the other side to cook, or you can also undo these two um, pins there and they will go up the other side so that it goes from this end too. Come around this side and you see great big storage holes. They're quite deep. There's my hand down in there. Um, great for all your pots and pans and that sort of stuff. Next drawer, cutlery drawer there. Perfect for that too. Now on this model we've got twin tanks. So front tank and rear tank slot there. It's also got the breakfast bar because we have the XLI version which they now have the little Oki strap on there as well to keep all your uh, miscellaneous items intact in there we'll come round I'll come back to the ensuite area and then side lockers I'm actually looking at mounting my Julka up in here it's probably going to be mounted on a TV bracket in this side here I'm just looking at um, all the legalities at the moment whether it's whether i'm allowed to do that at the moment and it'll swing back out and around the corner to be able to use from the shower or it'll also reach into the kitchen inside or the outside kitchen too another storage locker down there this one's a brand new van we've only just got it so it's still got all the boxes all the legs are still in their wrapping and everything as well uh, 240 volt inlet as well which is also um, great for plugging the van in when you're not using it to charge it. Built-in charger. 
another little storage hole which you can get a door that folds up that way as well come across a bit further great big storage hole here so they actually they actually say this storage hole is the coolest one on the van um, so if you've got uh, pantry items that you're going to be keeping long term and that in the van best off trying to store them in here great little spot uh, the front hatch for the window open that up there so that when we go inside I can open the front window and I'll show you that one in a minute alrighty so we'll come back to the ensuite I'll, while I'm here there's another over center latch up here undo that one for the roof in a second as well latch down underneath for the ensuite and latch down here for this side of the ensuite area now just here this is the uh, diesel heater mounted up in there so there's usually a cap just on that that one there which is the intake and then one on that part there which is the end of the exhaust just to stop the dust and everything going back up into the van right here is the outlet for the sink from the inside um, I'm probably going to try and swap that over for a uh, hose fitting so that you can just plug a hose straight onto it and it runs out that way. Alrighty, so the ensuite has popped up now. You can see there, it just comes straight up on two gas struts. There's a nice little bench in here for putting all your little knickknacks and everything on when you're in the shower. Um, a little hand pump. Um, also up in the corner is an extra uh, solar panel connection point. So that runs back in through the red arc system and will charge the van from a portable panel. Down here is another outlet for your 240 volt if you're plugged into mains power. Um, mirror, hey. <laughs> now this model is the latest one. So it has the inside outside access cupboard which is great for storage of your porta potty or even if you just wanted to i don't know put your clothes in through there for access from the outside when you're getting changed there's also a 12 volt power point up here and then to do the roof all you have to do is these couple of clips along here those pop down now i've i stole my mat up in here as well to stand on whilst in the shower. I'll drop that on the ground. A couple more clips there. And that's that's essentially it there. So they just magnetize on both sides. And then just there you'll see there's one more little skirt. That just slides along the bottom of the uh, rail just there. And then that's this whole area enclosed. It's as simple as that guys. I'll take you around inside now and give you a quick look in there. <clears throat> so opening up the door, you see the step comes out sideways and then put down. Now more storage on the back of the door there. So much storage in the vistas. There's also a uh, rail for putting your paper towel on or, or whatever you wish. Yeah, as we come in, I've unpopped the roof, so I'll just stand it up. All you gotta do is put your shoulder up into it and lift, and it goes. Now I've already undone all the windows just for extra light in here whilst I'm showing you guys around. So quick and simple there. You got power, obviously when connected to mains again as well. You got a USB plug and a cigarette plug there. And then you come across the bench, we have the sink. Same thing as before, tap up in there. And then as we look around, we have cupboards, lots of cupboards. Great inside storage. Um, a lot of people use this one as, as their either pantry or for their clothes. And then a couple of big deep cupboards. This one's the inside outside access one. So you see there it goes straight through to the shower tent there and also another shelf underneath the sink. 
Now we didn't, we uh, forgot to mention we wanted shells in this cupboard, but you can, you'll see along here, there's a line of holes there. You can get two shelves in that cupboard as well. We're, going, we're getting those ones sent down as well and I'll, I'll just put them in myself. Come across and we have the fridge, 110 litre Dometic Waco upright fridge. As you can see, brand new, still got all the uh, tape and everything on everything. Great, great size for the inside of the van there though. Alrighty, Let's swing around. There's the Red Arc management system. I won't go through that right now. That's in another video. I've given a quick bit of a demo on that one as well. Up the top there, you'll see now they've got a switch on them. That's to change the light above the kitchen bench outside from white to amber. A couple of little storage nooks. And then on the inside of there, you'll see all the red arc stuff again. Now you'll probably notice there, we have the Topro mounted in ours. That's for if people hire them off us and don't have uh, trailer brakes in their car, they can still use this unit here, adjust it up from there, plug that in and away it goes. Alrighty, around the back here, we have the bed. They come with an Innerspring mattress on them now, which is super comfortable. More storage. Fans, they got two Sirocco fans in them. We've had USB ports um, installed just underneath the fan there as well, so that you can use it from in bed or from the kit, the kit, the um, sorry, the dining area. That there is the uh, diesel heater controls. Turn back around, and you'll see there's a couple of lights up at the bed head end. That's the front hatch that I opened before, outside. Great for uh, cross ventilation of air. Also having the hatch up top as well. And then the second Sirocco fan. Now I'm gonna flip the bed over and I'll show you the dinette area too. So it's quick and simple to do that. And then all we gotta do is just take off the backrests for the chairs. One there and one over there and then come down underneath down here and you'll see there's a little handle there you just rotate that a couple of times just to loosen it off and then you only need two hands for this but it should just pop up simple as that guys now there is also a handle under here so that you can move the table backwards and forwards for making it easy to access the uh, seats and over here we have fire extinguisher once again more storage both of the seats have more storage under them and then behind the seat in here you'll see this is where we get power from that's the mud guard right there. So the battery is just in front of the mud guard. Fantastic for weight distribution. And there's another one on the other side as well. So it's a really well thought out van. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for now. But um, if you have any more questions, hit us up on Facebook and Instagram at Desert Oak. Or you can, you can uh, go across to our website at desertoak.com.au to hire our vans as well. Thanks guys.